Hi guys, thanks for tuning into the Scan Tool Network video. In this video, we're going to look at the Think Tool Mini. Uh, it's coincidental that we're in a Mini as well. So we've got a, a Mini Countryman that we're in with uh, a couple of ABS and traction control warning lights here. So we're going to diagnose those faults with this tool here. Now this kit is available just by clicking the link directly below this video. You will be given the option to uh, go to a genuine product. There are fakes, there are clones unfortunately. But if you use the link that will take you to a genuine and official product. So uh, we have this tool. It's a Bluetooth tool. So inside here normally sits a little dongle which is actually plugged into the diagnostic port down the bottom there uh, and it's a Bluetooth connection between the dongle and the tool itself so in case you are wondering how uh, the connection is made uh, so we're going to click on to diagnose and we're going to select our vehicle which is a mini and we should hopefully just get some um, options for different system diagnosis here let's see what it comes back with Okay, so we can go automatically search, which I believe will find the vehicle for us. It's found the VIN number, there we go, it's found the information. And we can go to system selection, that'll basically allow us to, instead of the tool doing a scan of the whole vehicle, we can just scan the system that we want to diagnose or we believe there is a fault with. So we can automatically just go in and scan the ABS system. So we go to chassis, ABS, anti-lock brake system and it's a little bit of uh, ECU information click continue click read fault code and it's giving us one fault code 48082A and it's telling us wheel speed sensor voltage supply rear right so um, any day of the week that'll give you that's just basically confirmation that it is a fault with the rear right ABS sensor um, you can double check that there is a way to cross reference that um, and it's simply by coming out of this going to read data stream clicking on wheel speed sensors and selecting the four ABS sensors there we go and they're all showing currently zero miles per hour because we're not moving at all so if we were to drive the vehicle at say 10 mile an hour all of the sensors would say 10 miles per hour apart from the rear right um, that would stay at zero so that was a good indication that 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 sensor is not actually working and that means obviously you need to change the sensor so that's what we need to do in this vehicle if you weren't confident with um, like watching the screen while you were driving you could either get somebody else to do it for you get someone else to look at the screen or you can press the record button and then you can review the data once you've pulled over and back in the house or wherever you are so that is the way to find a faulty ABS sensor and get live ABS sensor data from your vehicle. So in this car, it's just a case we need to put a new ABS sensor in. Once we've done that, we can clear the fault codes. That will get rid of the fault code and the warning lights from the dashboard. So if you are interested in this tool, it's a really good tool to hold and uh, it's, it's very it's very user friendly I would say not just the way in the way that you hold it but it's wireless the menu system is well set out and it's a really really good tool in my opinion so that is the think tool mini and if you are interested like I say well that's one thing I don't like the kind of 80s style video game um, music that it plays when it uh, wants to alert you to something uh, but I'll put the link to this kit in the description below this video and make sure you use those links if you are interested in getting a genuine and official product thanks for watching and I hope this helps